I'm Dr. Cyrus Mehta. I'm basically a cataract and refractive surgeon. This means I'm the guy that you come to to do the robotic cataract surgery, the laser vision correction procedures like SMILE. I've been working for about 25 years now since I returned from the US. Over the course of 25 years, I must have seen a quarter of a million patients. I must have done over 35,000 surgeries. Femtosecond laser cataract surgery is a creature of 2015, 2020, and along with this comes along modern lens technology. 30 or 40 years ago, we had a hard plastic lens. We had to cut the eye open and push that plastic lens into the eye. Patient was left with a far number and near number. Around the turn of the century, about 2000, 2001, multifocal lenses were invented. And these lenses split light up into far and near, so the person could see far and near. But round about 2014, 2015, trifocal lenses came on the market because everybody wanted to use a device like a phone or an iPad. And this was held at intermediate distance. Nobody holds the phone at eight inches away from the face. And because of the preponderance of these devices, lens technology shifted from being bifocal to trifocal, which gives you a near focus, an intermediate focus, and a distance focus. The latest lenses on the market are called extended depth of focus lenses and this gives you seamless vision. So there won't be an established focal point, you'll be able to see in a range. And this is how the human eye normally works and that's why people are so happy with the new extended depth of focus lens technology. Also, trifocal lenses had rings on the surface. And some people are not very happy with having that little bit of glare or halos it produces at night. But it's a necessary evil, it's part of the technology. Just like you can't have a car without four wheels, you can't have a trifocal lens without any glare or halos. If you think the lens is going to have no glare or halos, it's not trifocal. So to avoid these problems, extended depth of focus lens came on the market. And this is what people are very happy with today. So out of 100 surgeries today, I would be putting 90 extended depth of focus lenses and 10 trifocals. Today, nobody wants to wear glasses. I don't wear spectacles. I find them a great hindrance. I find that patients would be most happy to be spectacle free. And in most cases, if the eye is undisturbed by glaucoma or doesn't have diabetic retinopathy, we can put in a lens in such a way that the person has no distance or near number left behind we can decide to put in either a trifocal lens or an extended depth of focus lens depending on the patient's requirements. And everybody's requirements are unique. So we can't have one rule that fits everyone. So over, over 25 years, I must have done about 25,000 uh, cataract surgeries. And this has given me a wide experience. I've put in all the lenses on the market. So we are very conversant in our hospital with how each lens behaves in the eye and how to decide a person's individual visual requirements. Which lens to put in the eye? Will this patient be happier with a monofocal lens and be happy to wear reading glasses, which is sometimes the case? Or they want to be totally spectacle free? Sometimes patients come to me and say, well, you know, Cyrus, I just don't want to wear specs anymore. But their eye may not be suited to a trifocal or an extended depth of focus lens. Then I have to caution them about the side effects potentially in their eye and give them a monofocal lens.